The India-Uganda Trade Mission Conference intended to mobilize the Indian investors appreciate the attractive investable climate in the Uganda's economy. Now, to build resilience, we believe we can take advantage of what we have naturally, which is agriculture. We increase agriculture, we increase capacity in agriculture, we increase storage and manufacturing and logistics, and then we find markets. Now, these investors are going to help us with all those things. Increase capacity, make sure we mechanize agriculture, increase manufacturing and industrialization, add value to our agricultural product. The mission is expected to integrate micro, medium and small scale businesses into the international trade value chain. In Uganda is don't come in to just trade. Come in, invest, build capacity, trade in country, in intra-country as the East African community, Comesa, Africa, Africa trade area, then export. Either way you're adding value. So that is what the various areas have been able to invest in is, is, is what we have seen. You know, you know about companies like Tata, they're already here. The Minister for Investment and Privatization, Evelyn Anite, commended the Indian community for their commitment to power investment in Uganda. That we will not charge you for the land in our parks. Now, this time it's not the industrial parks, this is our national game parks, where you'll be able to see, coexist with the lions, coexist with the chimpanzees, coexist with the giraffes, coexist with the zebras, and it's amazing. Our tourism figures are looking very good, but because if you come, it is going to look better. The Indian investors will interact with Ugandan investors to find strong areas of collaboration through the private sector foundation. We must also explore new avenues for collaboration in emerging fields such as artificial intelligence, biotechnology, space and defense manufacturing. Generative AI in agro-processing also, also looks very promising and that is a field that you know, we would like to really explore as India has taken strides in in cementing its place in AI and its uses in different industries. If we team up Africa and, Uga and, and, and India, I can assure you we'll be able to achieve what is your slogan, incredible India, and it shall be an incredible world. Because the Indians are very intelligent and you have advanced technology, but the Africans, we are blessed with the natural resources. Apart from domestic incentives to these Indian investors, they are expected to interact with small-scale businesses for raw materials and in turn, the collaboration will improve the standard of Ugandan products for export. Komagum Rogers and Abdul Nasir Lubwama for UBC.